what's up? Okay, enough about my t-shirt. Today I am here to talk about Milch Album's book, The First Phone Call from Heaven. As you can see, I still have my bookmark in it. Halfway through it. With Mitch Album's books, I loved Tuesdays with Maury and The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Um, but the books I read after that of his, I liked, but I didn't love. Like, I loved those too. But I still enjoy reading them. You know, I, I like... I liked the way he wrote. However, this book, it left me cold. I'm very sorry to say. I like the premise, like, of calls coming from heaven. I mean, how would we respond if we got a phone call from a dead loved one? What would they say from heaven? What would we say to them? You know, how would those interactions go? And he does cover that in the book. But it kind of didn't go anywhere. I felt it was pretty repetitive. Um, this book ended up being one, you know, I tried everything I could to make me get into it. I read it, and it wasn't really working. So I read with music on, and that didn't really work. And then I read with the audiobook, so I could stay really focused on the audiobook, and that didn't help. And, you know, from the beginning, the first maybe a couple chapters I was okay but even in those first couple chapters it was really easy to put the book down and as I started getting farther into the book it became harder and harder to pick it back up again and ultimately I decided not to pick it back up again I got halfway through and the book's just not doing it for me there's only a couple characters I would want to read on for and even with them, I kind of thought I would just skim the remaining chapters and just see where those characters showed up, but I've decided not to. I'm going to create the ending that each of those characters have. This book tells the story of a number of different people, uh, both people who are getting calls from heaven and a couple who aren't. And you see how these calls affect them in different ways and how they respond to the calls and just the different scenarios. That's cool. Um, I'm not sure why I had such a hard time with it. Like, I started reading it and I stopped and I restarted reading it and I stopped and then I restarted again and finally I've given up. I can't get any farther in this book at this time in my life, which is really unfortunate. Because like I said, I loved his books in the past. Honestly, when I was reading it, I was like, if I want to learn about heaven or how people will respond to heaven, I'd rather reread re Tuesdays with Maury or The Five People You Meet in Heaven or a book that's not his, um, like Heaven is for Real by Todd Burpo, I'd even want to read. I love that book too. All three of those books were fabulous. And I was kind of like, I'd rather reread re them them be reading this book. And that kind of is disappointing. I don't like that that's how I felt. I love the idea, the concept of it, with the first phone call from heaven, what these phone calls entail, how would they, how, like, how would a person respond to getting a phone call from a dead loved one? And what would that dead loved one say and how would the conversation go? Um, and learning characters' backstories is always interesting, but I don't know, I found it to be slow maybe. I don't know. Unfortunate. Well, anyways, I honestly don't know that I would recommend this book because I can't get through this book. So I guess that means I wouldn't recommend it because I can't get through the book. I hope you guys are able to get through it if you've read it or you want to read it. It's just not a good fit for me. Not right now anyways, but I love the cover and the idea. Like the title's awesome. The concept, yeah, but hopefully if you read it you have better luck than I did. Sorry, Mr. Album. Happy reading.